Hi, buddy. Uh, Trevor Story's timing seems to be off since he came back from the IL. Do um, you think it's just a matter of time getting back into the swing of things, or what have you been seeing from him? Yeah, uh, I agree, Danielle. I think that uh, obviously, uh, you know, for a hitter to be successful, he needs to be on time here. Hit, hitters talk about that. Hitting coaches talk about that frequently. And that, and that means being timed up on, you know, the fastball and also recognizing the off-speed pitch. Uh, right now, Trev's, uh, and you've heard me say this before, uh, with a number of guys over, uh, you know, the course of the years that I've been here, he's in between. He's a little bit late on the fastball and not really picking up the breaking ball. So uh, you just keep fighting through it, and hopefully uh, you get on time because uh, when he does, you know, he's one of the best hitters in the league. And what did you think of Sensa Taylor today? You know, Sensa hung in there. He had the had the uh, the inning where uh, they hit the home run on him on a on a hanging slider. But uh, after that, I thought he uh, did a fine job. Kept us in the game. Uh, was pretty efficient. You know, threw pitches into the seventh inning, uh, albeit hit by pitch in the Akiyama double. But uh, he gave us what we needed. You know, three runs through six. We had multiple opportunities to. To get a big hit, uh, we we left, uh, I believe, 12 or 13 guys on base today. Uh, we couldn't deliver. So uh, Sensa did his, hit, did his part. I thought his stuff was good. I thought as the game went on, the changeup was effective. The slow curve was, was solid, uh, kept his velocity. Uh, so he threw the ball fine. Thank you. Thomas. Yes, buddy. I wanted to um, ask you about the those scoring position opportunities. But first, um, their starter um, Santillian. What did you see out of him? It seemed that he he had ways of getting out of. <laughs> well, he had uh, he's got a fine. He's got a fine arm. You know, like a like a lot of young pitchers do these days. I mean, it's a you know it's a fastball. You know, in the mid nineties. You know, hard breaking ball. Uh, he got a couple key strikeouts uh, when he needed to, but the stuff was there. You know he's a big, you know, he's a, you know he's a physical guy with with a good arm, and we had a couple opportunities, and we couldn't uh, we couldn't break through. Hey, and just to make sure on Tre on, on Trevor, um, is he dealing with any after effects of the elbow that affected? You know, I, I mean, I don't, I don't, I mean, probably better question for Trev, but to my knowledge, no. Uh, you know, he's taking his swings on the field and in the cage. Uh, the bat speed's there. Uh, you know, when we watch him in batting practice and pregame work, uh, you know, the swings have been fine, he, he, you know, even since Miami when, you know, leading up to his activation. So uh, no impact on him swinging the bat from the from the elbow. Um, yeah, offensively, you look at uh, Tapia's and, and Blackman on streaks, Daza's performing pretty well for you. Is it just sort of a frustrating time that it just didn't seem on this trip yeah. you could find that hit? You're right. Uh, you know, we've talked about that before now, right? That, you know, when the offense is going good, you have, you know, five, six guys swinging the bat, you know, well in the lineup and maybe a couple guys light. Uh, you know, we, we're the inverse of that. You know, we have, you know, two or three guys swinging well and the other five, six guys are, are not. So, and that comes back to get you, right? It seems as though uh, we'll get guys on base, you know, from the guys who are swinging the bats well, and then we get to the guys who are scuffling and that's where the breakdown occurs. Thanks, buddy. Yep. Tracy, go ahead. Buddy, is is this thing become on the road a mental thing? You think with the hitters more than I don't, you know, Trace? I don't think so. Uh, I really don't. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I I think I'd like to think that you know professional athletes are mentally strong to get to this level. So I, I don't I don't think so. Uh, I hope not. You know, maybe better question for them, but my opinion is no. All right, thank you. And Noah. Hey, bud. Um, for CJ Crone, you had him hitting seventh today, which is the lowest he's hit all year. Was that more of a move so he can regain some of his confidence back? Well, I think it's more of a you know what he has going on lately. Uh, in you know the last couple of weeks of at bats, and uh, you know what we're seeing from him, uh, you know just in his at bats, I think that uh, eventually he'll spin out of it and and get, you know, hopefully in the in the middle part of the order and start driving the ball and hitting some homers. Uh, but 
again, I, you know, he had some opportunities today along with a few other guys, but, you know, I think Brendan is swinging the bat, uh, you know, pretty well or having good at bats. He was six. I, you know, I really like the Charlie three, Trevor four, Mac five. I think that's, uh, you know, that's a, a productive uh, grouping of three guys. And I think Brendan has swung the bat well the last week or so. So that leaves Crone at seven. Uh, Dawes is, you know, doing his thing. Dawes is getting on base at, you know, close to a 360 clip, hitting 320. Uh, Tappy is, you know, up to his average uh, into the mid 290s. He's doing fine on base is fine. So I think with that grouping of players, you know, that makes sense for for Crone to hit seventh. And then finally with Yenti Almonte, he had a one, two, three inning, and he seems to be regaining his footing more, at least results yeah. wise. What did you I see? I think so. Yeah. Like? I mean, yeah, he got nicked the other night uh, in one plus innings, but. I think the stuff looks crisper, uh, which is a good thing. It's a long season of, of six months of pitching. Uh, Yency had a, you know, had a little bit of a uh, IL stint with the bad hand, but uh, I like where his stuff is, and hopefully he can string string some outings together uh, like today. You know, where the fastball is crisp, good breaking ball, uh, throwing strikes, and getting his outs. And we need. You know, we talk much about the hitting. Uh, we need a number of guys on the hitting side swinging the bat well. We need a number of guys out of our bullpen uh, pitching well. Uh, we do not need the, uh, you know, the the variability of of bullpen guys coming into games and and not putting up a zero. So it's good to see Yency. I think is is gaining some traction. To your point, well, that's a good thing. Thank you very much. Do you have questions for Sanzatella today? No. Danielle, go ahead. Hi, Antonio. How did you feel today? I feel really good. Thank you. Um, how did you just evaluate your performance and how it went today? You know, I feel like I threw, threw better than the last day. I feel like my fastball command is there. Every my pitch is out there. I just hanging slider to Suarez and he hit it up. But after that, I just battle, battle every time, get out of the big jams and I feel good on it. I just got bad luck in the seven. Just looking big picture for a second, um, at this point in the season, I mean, where do you feel like you're at with all your pitches? I feel all my pitches is quality right now. I can control any time and I can make the hitter swing, um, hit a ground as well, getting out on it. After uh, the past couple, three days haven't gone well for the starting rotation. I mean, did that give you extra motivation to go in and kind of throw a good performance? Yeah, for sure. I just tried to go in today and do the best I can to hold the team to win. So I know we, we've been hitting a lot. So I just got out and do the best I can to help the team to pick me on my guys, but I, I didn't. Thank you. Thank you. Thomas. Antonio, over the course of a 162 game season, um, a lot of rotations go through a little bit of a scuffle here. Um, what is the what is the confidence level of the guys in your rotation right now? You know, I think we need to keep the confidence up. So I feel like uh, everybody's working to to get the next the next start good. You know, I think every day is new day. We just coming through through a battle. I just. We need to keep working on, on the staff and do yeah, the best yeah. we can outside. Um, you've been with the Rockies for a while now, and the road has not been kind to you guys. A lot of losses on the road. Um, it, has, has it reached the point of people being frustrated in that clubhouse at this point? You know, a little bit because we we every time go out to try to win the game, but we got other losses in the road, but it's okay. We, we just still do the best we can outside and, and try to I win the game. Thank you, Antonio. Thank you. Thank you.